Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we need to get this little dude tattooed so that I can register him and ship him off. So he is going to be flying out to Florida. So I'm going to show you guys how to tattoo a goat. starters you want to clean their ears out very very good with alcohol stop don't let them eat your hair or clothes but you want to clean their ears out really good with alcohol and a cotton ball so that's what I'm gonna get done look up dirty Get the outside of the air too. So we use the plier kit where it's just a set of pliers and then we put the letters and numbers, whatever their tattoos are, in here. You're going to close it, twist it. And then that will be your punch. So we always have a piece of paper with whatever tattoos we're going to be tattooing the animal with. And then once we have the letters and numbers in here, we're going to punch it. I always put, um, you want to make sure everything is very sterile. So I cleaned the, the pliers with alcohol really well. And also I got all the numbers and letters that I will be using and they've been sitting in the alcohol for a good 10 minutes. So once those are clean, so his right ear is always going to be, you know, in their right ear is going to be their herd tattoo. So my herd tattoo is 1BC. So in the right ear is always 1BC and in their left ear is going to go um, each year has a suggested letter so for 2018 it's at its letter K so I'm going to put K and then whatever order they were born in so he is the 20th goat that I'm tattooing in my herd so he's K20 but we're going to start with the right ear so I'm going to load the pliers one Here's C. Here's B. And then I close it off. Tighten them in there. So 1BC. On your paper, every single time, I always punch it just to make sure I have it in the correct order and it's not backwards or anything like that. So I'm going to punch the paper and it shows 1BC. So now that I know I have that right, I'm going to go ahead and punch his right ear. So I'll show you guys where to do that at. So if it helps you guys at all, you know, you for the right ear, Obviously, if you stand where they are, it's a little easier to remember their right ear. So this is his right ear. Don't make the mistake of being facing them and, and clamping your right, his left. Um, so that's a big mistake. Just keep that in mind when you are tattooing. So my left is going to be his right if I'm facing him. And what we're looking for... In the ear, there are veins that you want to stay away from. These big veins here will bleed. You want to do your very best to stay away. With Nigerians, it's best to wait as long as possible to tattoo them because there's, their ears are so little when they're born. So we're getting that meaty area there in between these big veins. Right here in the middle is where we want to get. Alright, so 
So you fold the ear. Don't clamp unless you got it positioned right. He's being a stinker. You want to do it right. You only want to have to do it once. Boy. Yes, yes. but it's in between those veins and you can see the one, the B, and the C. We're good. So now what I'm going to do is take these ones, put them back in the alcohol so that they're sterilized, and I'm going to get the K20. So then I'm going to load. Now he's mad. <laughs> Alright, I got that loaded. Again, always punch it on the paper to make sure you have it correct. Have our K two zero. Now we check it. K two zero. He's good. All right, so. This part is messy. The tattoo ink I like to use, and it works really well for the darkered ears as well, um, is animal tattoo ink paste, and it's the color green. Um, it will, the tattoo kits typically come with the roll-on ink. You can get the black, you can get the white, but nothing shows up or lasts as long as this paste. So it's really good. This is what I recommend to use. So it doesn't take much, about a pea size. So about that much, I'm going to rub it right into the holes in his ears that we just punched. Um, and you rub it in really good. Don't be shysty on the ink. You want to make sure that this is done very well. And hopefully you won't have to do it again four, five, six years down the road. So anyway, I'm going to take the ear that is sore. I don't know. Hold the ear, just rub it in really good. Really, really good. You are being so dramatic. Hey. I do not do anything. He's all done. So he's tattooed. Um, and again, if you do a good job, it should last the life of the animal. Uh, but, so I'm not going to rinse that out in a week or anything like that. Eventually that green stuff will, it'll all just kind of flake off and then the tattoo will be good in there. Ain't that right? Sorry. So I hope this got, this helped you guys out. If you need any of the supplies, the tattoo kit, the ink, all of that, I will have it in the description below, Amazon links, where you guys can purchase those. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.